WWE is the top pro wrestling promotion in the world, by far the largest when it comes to the size of the promotion. WWE is known for selecting the best talent around the world to fill its roster. With Monday Night Raw, SmackDown Live, 205, and NXT, other smaller shows like main event and non-televised house shows, WWE really has a lot of wrestling content which they put out into the world. Being the biggest promotion, it's no surprise that WWE pays its roster a handsome salary making them some of the best paid pro wrestlers in the world. The high salaries which they pay their staff and wrestlers are some of the main reasons why the performers from around the world make the decision to go to WWE and consider it a dream destination nonetheless. Despite being known for being a well-paying and large brand, some of the wrestlers on WWE's roster are criminally underpaid considering their talent and comparing it to other wrestlers. My name is John, and in this list we will discuss 10 WWE wrestlers who are undervalued by the company and are not paid what they are worth. One of the most underrated talents of all time, Kofi Kingston has long been overlooked by WWE. A wrestler who has excelled in whatever capacity he has been used for, Kofi has showed his capability to adapt to each new role he was placed in, without a single word of complaint. His work ethic is shown, in which he played the high flyer early in his career, before progressing to the sort of a character like a man on a mission for the short run he had while he was after the US title, and even Randy Orton. Finally, his current role with the New Day showcased the incredible range that he has in him, as he was able to carry a character that no one thought he could work. The New Day have become one of the most overstables in the company. They were able to continue their control over the tag team division enough to set the record for the longest reigning tag champs. Kofi still has the ability to do something great, if he is allowed to by the WWE. But if a wrestler's value to a company is judged by how much they pay him, it would appear as if Kofi should not be counting on any favors from the company. Paid only $500,000 a year, that does not seem to be anything compared to most of the male wrestlers and what someone with his ability should be able to actually earn. I think it would be especially cool to see Kofi Kingston win a world title with the help of the New Day, but what do you think about this? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. The current Raw Women's Champion, Nia Jax, has never been valued by the company for all that she could bring to the roster. Booked as a monster at the beginning of her main roster run, this was something which quickly stopped soon after. She suffered losses which really just ruined the perception of her as an unbeatable character. Soon she found herself off of television despite possessing talent in spades. She would then be relegated to a background role appearing occasionally in wrestling and meaningless matches. Towards the end of 2017, Nia had been slowly pushed again. Her friendship with then women's champion Alexa Bliss was highlighted and this was the feud which WWE planned to proceed, and proceed they did, in a storyline that actually utilized Nia properly. They showcased her being betrayed by Bliss, and eventually seeing Nia get revenge and winning the women's title at WrestleMania. Despite all of this, Nia is paid only a fraction of what she seems to deserve at $100,000 a year. Asuka is currently thought of as the future of the women's division. She is acknowledged widely as one of the best wrestlers in the world. Her work in WWE has only added to her legacy. She held an incredible undefeated streak which was even able to cross that of Goldberg's incomparable run of 173 wins in WCW back in the Attitude Era. It was only recently that her streak fell apart when she was unable to maintain her supremacy in the ring after Charlotte Flair would hand her her first loss at WrestleMania 34. Despite her obvious capability, WWE has not given her the recognition that she clearly deserves. Asuka is only paid about $250,000 a year, and this pay is nowhere close to any of the men or even Ronda Rousey. If there is any woman who deserves to have a pay raise simply for the work ethic, it's definitely Asuka. AJ Styles is arguably the best wrestler on the planet. In his short time with WWE, he's won the main title twice, his matches are some of the best put on by any star, and he has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Roman Reigns, Finn Balor, John Cena, and even carried Brock Lesnar to a good match. Despite his prowess in the ring and his incredible popularity with the fans, AJ is still not considered to be a top star by WWE. The amount he is paid per year alone is enough to reveal that at $3.5 he is not close to Cena, Reigns, or Lesnar. 
One of the most underrated performers throughout his career, Matt Hardy became the messiah of madness. In recent years, he founded and innovated the Broken Gimmick, one of the most popular shticks in sports entertainment. Impact Wrestling was going through hard times when the gimmick came into being, and it also increased their ratings tenfold. Since coming to WWE, Matt did not have quite the same success. Despite winning the Raw Tag Team titles on their very first night back at WrestleMania, they found themselves in obscurity, the Hardy Boys that is. Jeff Hardy became seriously injured and the tag team had to split up. Matt came out of the shadows in the midst of their fall in popularity, having won the battle in the courts with Impact to use their old gimmick. His feud with Bray Wyatt may have been a letdown, but the ultimate deletion did more than its job to bring back interest. Ever since then, Matt has won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, as well as the Raw Tag Team titles again thanks to his new alliance with Bray Wyatt. Despite all of this, Matt remains one of the most underpaid WWE stars at $650,000 a year. Currently one of the best performers in the cruiserweight division, Kalisto is arguably the best luchador in WWE as well. He has been doing awesome in his own division making waves for everyone to see, and he's loved by the fans and his innovative offense and fast paced athletic moveset entertains the fans to no end. But Kalisto only makes $350,000 a year, a sum which is not quite what he deserves for the amount of effort that he puts into his matches. The Usos looked like they were not going anywhere for the longest time in WWE. After an amazing first run with the company, their gimmicks grew stale and the fans stopped caring about them. It looked like it was only a matter of time before they were released from WWE. The Usos were not able to adapt to the changes the realistic era brought to the company and they were still stuck in their PG gimmicks. It was shocking, therefore, when they changed themselves completely and took over a new gimmick, this change in attitude also brought with it a new vibe, which has seen them on a roll. They became the champions and their feud with the New Day was stuff of legend. Their matches were often the matches of the night and they seemed to improve with every passing day. Keeping this in mind, it seems unfair to WWE to pay them only $250,000 each a year. Considering what some of the other tag teams make, this amount is really low. Cesaro is one of the best wrestlers in WWE today and is said to be the strongest pound for pound wrestler as well. His strength has seen him succeed, although it looked like he was not doing too well, the brand split helped him a lot, and he partnered up with Sheamus in a tag team and became relevant in storylines for the first time in many years. Since then he has held Raw Tag Team titles on multiple occasions and there appears to be nothing that he cannot do. He suffered an injury to his mouth when he catapulted into the ring post sending two of his teeth into his gums. Yikes. He would then go on to finish the bout despite the injury and his dedication to his matches and jobs make him one of the best talents in WWE today. However when it comes to paying, WWE does not seem to do him justice with $500,000 a year. Shinsuke Nakamura just didn't seem to look like the best or really the most successful wrestler in WWE when he made his jump to the main roster. He seemed to be lacking the intensity which made him one of the best wrestlers in NXT. When he finally turned heel at Mania after his match with AJ Styles, the change was exactly what the doctor ordered for him. Since he has made the turn, his intensity has turned up. Although he seems obsessed with low blows, there is something more about him now which was absent before. He looks and acts like a main event star. Nakamura may be a main event star, but he is not paid like one, earning only $400,000 a year. This amount is shameful and not anywhere near the amount appropriate for a star of his caliber. Hopefully in the coming years, WWE will increase the sum. Braun Strowman is arguably the most popular man in WWE. There is very little that he hasn't done and his ability to connect with the crowd as a monster has made him extremely over. His feud with Roman Reigns made the difference for him as his popularity skyrocketed by continuing to beat down Roman week after week. He has seemed indomitable and faced off against the likes of Kane, Samoa Joe, Brock Lesnar and Reigns and has secured victories against them all with the exception of Lesnar. He won the tag team titles with the help of Nicholas, a 10 year old boy at Wrestlemania. And I think it's fair to say that he has really had the most memorable moments in WWE over the past year and a half. Being the amazing wrestler that he is, it is surprising that he has not yet won the Universal title, but what is even more surprising is that Braun only gets paid $300,000 a year. 
WWE will possibly give him a title shot soon again, but it is imperative that they pay him more for practically carrying Monday Night Raw at times. And these were the top 10 most underpaid stars in the WWE. If you have any other stars that you think are underpaid, be sure to let us know in the comments below. As always, I hope you're all having an amazing day, and thank you so much for watching Wrestling Hub, and I will see you later with more wrestling videos.